All right, 3.3, you write the rules. So we've got um, two sets of triangles. We've got a pre-image and image, and another pre-image, I'm sorry, another pre-image here, and an image. And just by looking at it, these look similar. They, or they definitely don't look congruent. These two shapes look pretty congruent to me, but I guess we'll figure that out um, in the problems that follow. All right, write a rule that will transform ABC to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. So just like we did in Are You Ready for More in 3.2, I'm gonna write out my coordinates because that's the easiest way to see what's happening to them. I can probably guess that there's gonna be a reflection over the x-axis here because that's what it looks like, but I wanna be perfectly 100% sure. Um, oh, I'm sorry, we're doing this one right here, my fault. I will do that later, but that one definitely looks like a reflection of the x-axis. This one looks like a dilation of some sort. So I'm gonna look at A, and I can see that A is um, at two comma three. B is at five comma four. And C is at three comma four. A prime is at two comma six. B prime is at five comma eight, and C prime is at three comma eight. All right, so I can see that my x coordinates are not changing. All right, two to two, five to five, three to three. So I'm gonna make sure in my rule that my x stays exactly the same. For my y coordinate, however, um, I'm multiplying the y coordinate by two, it looks like, so that's two y. Um, so right off the bat, I can see that there is no, um, there's no rule that works for this. We don't have a rule that only multiplies the y coordinate by two. If the x was also multiplied by two, then I would know that it was a dilation scale factor two centered at the origin. So I'm gonna say neither. Um, and you know, it's, it's already, I can see that CB is two units, C prime B prime is two units, so that would be a scale factor of one, right? If it's two to two. And these are clearly not the same length. Um, same with these two, like they just don't look the same. So I can also tell by looking at it that there's not a consistent scale factor. So I'm gonna say neither. There is no rule where you only multiply y coordinate by a uh, number greater than one. Because so we can definitely multiply y by one or multiply y by negative one. Um, but we never, I'm sorry, I should re only, right? That's the key word there. We never only multiply the y coordinate or only multiply the x coordinate by a scale factor. And I can also say that there is no consistent scale factor between corresponding sides. That's another way we can tell it's not similar. And um, also not congruent because a congruent figure would have a consistent scale factor of one. So if there's not any consistent scale factor period, then it's neither congruent nor similar. All right, uh, now we're gonna do DEF, DEF prime. So this one, I think, my prediction is that it's just gonna be a reflection over the x-axis and we'll see if that's true based on the coordinates. All right, so I can already see the x coordinates stay the same. So that's a, that's a good indicator that we're reflecting over the x axis. So D is at negative two, one. E is at negative four, three. F is at negative six, one. D prime is at uh, negative two, one. I'm sorry, negative, negative two, negative one. It's a negative y coordinate. E prime is at negative four, negative three and f prime is at negative six, negative one. And if I look at these pairs of coordinates, I can see that only the y is being negated. 
So anytime only the y is being negated, that is just a reflection over the uh, x-axis. And if you remember, I prefer to call this a reflection over y equals zero, because that reminds me that only the y is the part being negated. So there we get x negative y. Are they congruent? Yes. Reflections, oh, I should say yes congruent. They ask similar or neither also. Yes, they are congruent. Reflections are rigid motions. You could also say that they are isometric transformations. So, um, the dimensions are preserved. By SSS, the triangles are congruent. All right, and that's it for lesson three. Have a great day.